welcome to your magical moon message. This is the Peace Dila. The moon is in Pisces. It's about two degrees away, uh, eight degrees Pisces next to six degrees Saturn in Pisces. And the sun is about 22 degrees now in Taurus. <clears throat> so by the time the sun is like 23 degrees, 24 degrees, um, I think 23, we're going to have the sextile 23 degrees Pisces to 23 degrees Taurus sun. So that is the 11th house aspect mathematically. But regardless, we are completing the transit. We're going from 10th to 11th house. The completion of this transit is shifting from the knowledge of everything you're manifesting to now experiencing that knowledge. And if you think of Gemini as the initial thought process that opens the door, Virgo analyzes this through repetition to give you a real sense analytically that influences your behavior while Gemini influences your initial ideas. The behavioral change, development, and mastery that comes from this idea now ascends into Sagittarius where you come into the higher meaning of it. And post this higher meaning in Sagittarius, where you see, of course, the ascended perspective, this completes itself in Pisces that takes everything you have perceived and puts it all together, whereas Virgo broke it all down so that you can come into the why and the higher reasoning. So to have this 11th house transit coinciding with Pisces is helping you come into the final perspective, the last mutable sign of changing your beliefs around what you deserve and the rewards from this quality of your value. So I'm going to talk about the zero degree Pisces to 22 degrees Pisces, which is the completion of the 10th house transit mathematically and then of course 22 degrees pisces to the rest of pisces because once we step into aries there is now an understanding of individual action to induce getting the rest of these rewards so congratulations this is the part of the cycle where you can fall back and experience these rewards don't trick yourself into believing that you have to do any work during this period you can but we planted seeds during the new moon no seeds sprouted during throughout of the ground the first quarter square moon in leo moon in scorpio we harvested this moon in scorpio to moon in aquarius is the work of taking that reap scythe and reaping the crops so planting the seeds is work Nurturing those seeds that sprout out the ground is work. Reaping the crops is work. And now at the completion, you're taking in what you got. The 11th house portion are friends from and associates. Whoever helped you plant these seeds, you divvy out the rewards with them. If, since this is an, an individual process, you're understanding through divine synchronistic experiences everyone every vibration that belongs in this field of your value in this feeling of what you're worth so the connection with saturn every time the moon conjuncts saturn anytime two planets conjunct the degree between those planets are zero degrees before the cycle goes around again and the planets conjunct again and you can tell a lot about the story and narrative they're telling just by following the cycles so every month the moon of course, will touch all the planets. And every time the moon touches Saturn, you are understanding the next 28 day karmic lesson. And that's why it's very important to follow this because this understanding of this divine karmic realization of the integrity of your beliefs, the arc, Noah's arc, that you're building through your imagination so that this can function as a supernatural vehicle to transit you through literal worlds is now occurring while the sun has finished its conjunction with Uranus and is getting ready to semi-sextile it in Gemini. Okay, this by the time it's in Gemini, you're manifesting the enlightened awareness of the supernatural manifestation of your energy. It's going to get fucking lit. Okay, so the moon uh, in, on, on Pisces, one, is initiating that cycle. It's an activation. Two, 
Saturn represents the totality of the material universe. In Pisces, it's the totality of the divine experience and vibration of helping you understand the full meaning of what's occurring. So this is anchoring this soul reaper but really this soul understanding of how not only your dreams are materializing but in this aspect that's 10th house to the sun and taurus coming into the 11th house you are feeling the experience of how everything comes together and shows you the rewards of everything you spent the past three weeks working towards relative to three weeks ago you're more confident you're tapped in way more to your value you have aligned so much more naturally with your abilities and power and you're able to express this towards the definition of a new attitude about all of this in gemini season and this is where supernatural experiences will effectively completely with saturn of completion and totality change with the mutable sign your beliefs with pisces about everything you're worth why pisces answers why well because you're going to be experiencing these rewards that will now show you and help you understand the vibration that facilitates not only everything you're worth not only the evidence of this but now the perceptual nature of what approach you can take towards everything you're capable of because you're experiencing it and as the moon now kicks in this 11th house transit post 22 degrees it's going to be on neptune 27 degrees and pluto has just begun its retrograde so this is beginning to reevaluate this very intense awakening that the collective has been going through facilitating this manifestation of the supernatural understanding and metaphysical dynamics of the unseen principles that not only lead in to you being able to click together how that makes you manifest but unconventional solutions that can change your life overnight which you'll know because you're drawn to do but your mind might not be able to make sense of it this is not a linear logical vibration you want to not just go with what feels right or what makes sense you want to follow the guidance this vibe is leading you towards as you are moving towards unseen metaphysical facets that are in front of your face but your eyes are not able to process because you only have a certain bandwidth of frequency that you can see electromagnetic whatever the fuck the science of that is okay i try to say it i completely fell apart right now but this represents everything beyond what you can perceive when i say metaphysical i'm not talking about no supernatural spiritual mumbo jumbo the physical is represented by everything well, relative to this analogy, the physical can represent everything that we can perceive physically. So that means anything that's beyond your senses, it's still there. There's forces out in the universe that exist that we cannot perceive because it's at color ranges we can't see. It's at pitches we can't hear. That doesn't mean it's not there. It just means it's metaphysical. And that as an extension of Aquarius, the universe is what Pisces represents. The metaphysical fundamental forces and laws that still influence us. Well, what if you can understand that? What if you could perceive that? What if you could incorporate that into this physical reality of an illusion that you perceive? That will prepare you for magic. Gemini season. Learning new programs, ideas, spells, mental games that you can play to engineer and program a much more efficient quality of moving forward. The synchronicities that are popping are popping for a reason to guide you along this path as you are driving down this highway of your self-realization. So don't stop because you see the sign, keep going because you're headed in the right direction. The synchronicities and signs, people don't know what to do when you see them. You're not seeing them just to encourage you. It is a perpetual reminder that 
as you are swimming in this metaphysical sea of belief where everything you imagine is what it is, your 5D through imagination overlaps the 3D to get ready to shift you through your maintenance and persistence and repetition, that's Pisces and Virgo, to induce magic. So relative to that, this process enables you to not only complete this understanding, but the synchronicities affirm that what it is you're being guided to create already exists. It's already here. It's not like once you see the synchronicity, stop trying to do anything. You're not supposed to try and do anything. The, if, if, if what you're manifesting isn't here and didn't exist, you wouldn't see the synchronicity. Some of you feel like you're being trolled. You're trolling yourself. You need to get that through your head. It took me like 30 years to really embrace that. The fact that you're seeing it and then wavering back and forth is you playing with yourself. No masturbation. You don't even necessarily have to do this the right or wrong way. You just need to understand the reason why you are experiencing these synchronous events is because there's nothing you can really do. Talk less of just sabotage it of to, to, to escape what it is you're creating what, what in, in ways you might not even be conscious of. So these subconscious metaphysical influences are not only being understood, but especially over Neptune synthesizing another cycle, the moon Neptune cycles drive you deeper into the subconscious wisdom of your imagination and unlock supernatural abilities every time we have this conjunction so that you don't get it all at once and you turn crazy. Cycles help release more layers of this development so it's going to get very strange because the change of your beliefs are going to bring into gear this clicking of making sense out of all the things through this Taurus season that eluded you because now we've completed the transit so the completion portion for the first part of this transit is bringing you up to speed to finally have your body catch up to everything you have been awakening the moon sextile to Uranus that we're going to have is going to be 11th house from this Taurus and it's going to help you understand the unseen principles that manifest the unique supernatural qualities of your body in a way that you can actually perceive now because the moon in Gemini helped you understand how to think about it. The moon in Virgo helped you analyze what's real about it. The moon in Sagittarius helped you come into a higher perspective of it. Now the moon in Pisces is completing that. So many of you have been frustrated because it's like you feel like you're out of the timing of this or you're not really seeing the results you want, but the results have always been there. You have to learn how to see it. That's what this moon in Pisces is adjusting. Mutable transits adjust perception so that we step into the cardinal and we move in the right direction. And when the moon goes into Aries, you're going to be moving in that raw direction to transcend your identity because now your instant manifestation ability is popping. Well, the experience of you coming into this manifestation ability that changes your belief in everything you're capable of is this moon in Pisces. It's happening. Whenever we have mutable transits, it is a happening. It is a mutable shifting. And so this divine realization of your instant manifestation ability is happening right now. And the best part about it is there's nothing to fucking do. You did it already. You planted the seeds and you harvested the crops. You've completed the harvest. So now sit back with this Pisces energy, feel the vibes and be guided through these realizations that will prepare you for Gemini season and the new moon in Taurus before Gemini season where we gonna get it popping, okay? So if you've been excited about your abilities, powers, and in this case, your potential to manifest your intentions through the vehicle of your body, you've completed this, you're going to understand the full perspective of what and how to engineer this moving forward so that you no longer hit and miss, you're hitting, hitting, hitting. And this is going to now start to direct you towards the purpose of what you're meant to do through the nodes with this ability. 
this is going to strengthen over the next six months so that by Scorpio season, your instant manifestation ability is mastered to the effect with which you can now use it with other people and manage other people's resources and manifest for other people. OK, through Leo, which strengthens the courage of how to do all that shit. Y'all stay blessed as always. This is going to be divine. It's going to be magical. Godspeed. Stay infinite. Peace. Boom.